Ever since Kwame Onwachi was a contestant on TV's Top Chef a few years ago, life has been good. An award from the prestigious James Beard Foundation, a spot on the Forbes 30 Under 30 list, a cookbook that's about to be made into a movie, and now another one. He talked to Vern Glenn about all that and more. But Kwame, appreciate you joining us for a few minutes. And first of all, it's not so much what you've done, it's how you've done it. Share with us just the, the journey from the mean streets of New York as a teenager. Well, the journey is the reward, you know. And I started cooking at a very young age. You know, I was five years old. My mom threw me an apron. She, she had a catering company, and I had to help to keep the lights on. And that, uh, that chore turned into a hobby. That, that hobby turned into a profession. And, you know, the, the rest of the journey was definitely riddled with some potholes. But, um, but here I am today standing before you and, and proud of the person that I've become. You are author of the greatly, I mean greatly anticipated cookbook, My America, which is a follow-up to your memoirs, uh, Notes from a Young Black mm -hmm. Chef. I think, you know, the, the last memoir, it really got into my story and who I am and, and how I became, you know, from selling candy on the subway to starting my own catering company to, you know, being in gangs to, you know, starting, you know, my own businesses and working in fine dining kitchens. But this story, I think, is more of the story of my ancestors and how I got to be. You know, my family is Nigerian, Trinidadian, Jamaican and from uh, Louisiana, you know, Creole. And I haven't seen a lot of cookbooks that have like really captured that essence. Mm. In your document series, Tasting Home, one thing that just kind of stuck with me is when you said you can't really know where you're going unless you understand where you came mm -hmm. from. Explain to us to the folks that are just kind of scratching their heads. <laughs> well, I think you, you, you shouldn't forget your roots. Um, you shouldn't forget what made you um, into the person that you are today. Hey, this is Kwame Onwachi, and I'm here on the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. I brought my grandfather How fun was it to right get with your grandfather and experience his food in Trinidad? It gave me a deeper connection to my family, it made me understand why they are the way they are and you know what it took for them to be, to, to be here. Um, you know, being in Mamou, Louisiana and seeing the birthplace of, of Mardi Gras was, was huge for me. My grandmother was born um, in Louisiana, but she had to go a couple towns over because it was the only hospital that allowed black patients during that time. So I was able to see these things and they were able to pass these stories down to me, which I'll then do to my own, my own children. How were you affected when people walk in, sit down, and they taste your food. And I'm talking about people from all walks of life. There's a look on their faces, that, that feeling of satisfaction, and also the feeling of, um, you, know, you know, black people also being able to like celebrate their own culture while celebrating a special experience and eating their food in, in like a, a refined setting. So, you know, that's the payoff for me. And, um, and I, I don't take it for granted, not one day. I'm a amateur chef myself i mean i've got i got three jocks in the house so they eat yeah. a lot so these are carnivores i, I want to be able to just try and try and perfect the jerk chicken yeah. because boy if i can i feel like if i can make jerk chicken that will just open the gates to a lot of other absolutely. things absolutely i think that's one of my favorite recipes in the book um because it shows the refinement you know of the caribbean of like making your own jerk paste and jerk brine and smoking the chicken beautifully you can do it. <laughs> Fair enough. This is a fun one. Let's just say you're at home, hunger kind of hits you. Let's just say scale of one to 10, you're about a six. Okay, so you could eat. Nobody's around. What is your go-to? I will order chicken wings and pork fried rice from the Chinese takeout spot. That, that's my go-to. That's, that's the chef's yep, choice? that's my choice. <laughs> that's my choice. If I can eat, that's what I'm eating. Last one for me. I mean, you being this you know, chef and uh, aspiring, aspiring actor now, you got, you got a project coming up, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I do, I do. I have a movie coming out on Amazon Prime, and then I have another one with A24 um, that's slated to come out next year, based on my, my life story. Look at you.
All right. Hey, it's Kwame Awachi. Go out and get that book, <laughs> My America, on newsstands and in your favorite bookstore right now. You can also go Amazon and just do like me. And just boom, get it the <laughs> next day. <laughs> awesome. Hey, thanks so much. Hey, continued success. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Janice, back to you. Thanks, Fern.